Hello again. I bought this piece of copper here, this sheet of copper, from Amazon. Uh, it's 0.9 of a millimetre thick, with a view to maybe making something out of it, like a gauntlet or something, and just seeing how hard it was to work, because I've only really worked uh, aluminium. And I was then thinking it would be nice to try and put a patina um, on the thing I made. So I made this kind of... Um, face here, well it's half a face, and what I did was um, I hammered it out and then I got some uh, vinegar, standard vinegar and salt, put about a, an inch of vinegar in a glass, put in about half a teaspoon of salt, mixed it up and then uh, with a paintbrush flicked the vinegar mixture onto the copper so it was all like uh, spotty. I then put it in um, this uh, dish here with a glass bowl. If I just open it, I've got another thing in here I'll show you in a second. With a glass bowl with ammonia. Now I bought the ammonia from Amazon, easy to get. Uh, it stinks as I can smell now when I've opened it and when you put the copper in the fumes from the ammonia, the chemicals in the fumes react with the vinegar and the salt to give this blue colour, this really nice blue colour. To get the brown I actually got some hydrogen peroxide which I bought off eBay as well and I just used a cotton bud and it reacted with the copper and made this brownie colour. So I've put that on there. I've got this other piece of copper and I've uh, hammered it because I was thinking of it as a design maybe for the back of a gauntlet. And as you can see, this one I put in yesterday, um, tea time, and it's been sitting overnight. And I wanted to see how what it's like um, when I actually try and clean it. Will it actually stay on? I don't know how much of this blue will stay on. Oh, well, there's the first bits off. Um, I have not actually tried this because if I put it on a gauntlet and then find that the patina rubs off then it'll just look dreadful. So I'm not rubbing it too hard yet. The nice really bright blue has gone off. Uh, the blue is coming off, but it might be the case that, depending on what you're using, let me try some water. The water doesn't really take it off, does it? That looks quite good, that. See, for something like a gauntlet, where it's going to have bits of metal rubbing against each other, this might just be... I'll just try a bit harder. Right, so if I try really hard there, it does the blue comes off but it leaves a nice old mottled texture in the in the copper. Now that could be quite useful um, for making it look really old. So for things where you're going to make something that's just going to be a decoration and sit on the wall it's not going to have any rough um, handling then you, the blue will be fine. This one I, I did spray some lacquer on. Might need a bit more. And it makes it look really nice. But for where you're going to be actually using something then it's probably best just rubbing the blue off and keeping the the colours underneath. And there's nice markings there. That looks really nice. So that's how far I've got with uh, patterns on copper. I'd like to try and get greens. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, so I'll have to do a bit more digging. But if you do get some copper from Amazon with some really simple chemicals, um, you can make some really nice colours. So go get some and have a go yourself and see what you come up with. So I hope that's been useful. Um, and thanks for watching. And see you again.